this first video, we're going to introduce you to the 3DS Max interface. The most obvious feature are these four windows that are known as the viewports. The easiest viewport to understand first of all is the one that's labelled perspective. This is the most realistic view of any object that you're making. If you took a photograph of something, it would usually be in some form of perspective. The other views are what's called orthographic views and they default to top, front and left. These are a straight on view of the thing that you're creating and these are the best ones to use for accurate changes to your model. In these windows you can select objects and move them around quite accurately and get feedback in all four windows about what's actually happening. If you move things or edit them in the perspective view, you can actually get some very strange results. If you want to move around the viewports, the best way to do this is right click. You'll notice that that leaves the petal that, I'm, that I selected a moment ago still selected. The other thing you might want to do is change view or change the properties of the viewports in which case you right click on the title. If you right click in the actual viewport area itself you'll actually get something called a quad menu. That's a list of shortcuts of commands to save you time. Most of the quad commands are listed elsewhere so don't worry if that confuses you at first we'll come back to quad menus. Along the top 